Scientists found microplastics in people's blood for the first time. It's not clear how plastics that end up inside our bodies may be affecting our health. I listened to an entire podcast on this topic. It was a, an expert talking about all the microplastic we're exposed to at young ages and how it screws us up, messes with our sex hormones. Um, you don't want to look into it, will you? would be very upset. Okay. But uh, it's obvious how this how this happened. It's that new recycling machine. <laughs> what do you mean? That People are just eating it? It's chopping all this plastic into little micro parts and oh. end up in the water. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, new evidence indicates, I'm, by the way, I'm just I'm joking. New evidence indicates, I mean, it's in the ocean, it's everywhere. Yes, New evidence eat it. indicates that tiny bits of plastics can reach our bloodstream. And a small study detected microplastics in about 80% of the people tested. For now, the health implications of this ex exposure are still unclear. The findings were first reported by The Guardian and published in the Journal of Environmental Environment International. Research examined blood samples of 22 healthy adults and found traces of plastic in 17 of them. The plastics included are those commonly used in bottles, food packaging, and plastic bags. These tiny bits of plastic are ubiquitous in our environment, having been documented just about everywhere in the world. Other research has suggested that they're routinely ingested and subsequently passed through our digestive system, ending up in our poop. But the researchers say their work is the first to show that some plastics can then find their way into the circulatory system, in theory, allowing them to travel widely inside our body. I mean, nobody wants this. Mm -hmm. This is uh, this is some nasty stuff. And unfortunately, it's a very hard one to just shut off because there are so many plastics. I and mean, you think about it, you might try to limit your plastics and be like, oh, I'm not going to drink out of a plastic bottle. Go to the grocery store and look at what everything is packaged in. Mm -hmm. Literally everything. Now, not all plastics are created equal, and you would like to eliminate the, some of them, but the entire our entire food system relies on packaging. Mm -hmm. And it, it, there's just very few things that have zero plastic exposure. Another one that came up in the podcast I listened to was uh, in medical scenarios, like IVs and stuff like that. It's all plastic. Hmm. You literally can get a, you're getting a blood transfusion through a plastic tube. Right. So, and what other, and in those circumstances, you, you you know, thank goodness there's a way of doing this, but there's no other material, or at least not that I'm aware of, that's as cheap or versatile. Maybe somebody will invent it eventually. Yeah. Something that's more organic.